the body count is rising in West Africa. The scourge from Ebola shows no signs of stopping. The fear and mistrust took a violent turn in Liberia's capital, Monrovia. An angry crowd, many of them armed with clubs, raided an Ebola isolation ward in the city's largest slum. It's a process that usually takes years, but in the race to beat the Ebola epidemic, doctors and scientists are speeding up efforts to create a vaccine against the virus in a matter of months. The African countries cried out to the global community to come to the aid of Africa in fighting Ebola. However, we'd never had a trial as sensitive a virus as the Ebola uh, virus. Because mind you, we're coming from a backdrop where Ebola had killed between Sierra Leone, Liberia and Guinea, had killed almost 11,000 people within that short space of time. So there was so much fear in the system. It was meant to kill people. That was the news going around. What were you going to use as the vaccine? Is it an Ebola vaccine or is it another vaccine? What is it? What is the component of the, of the vaccine you're going to use? People felt like this thing was being done undercover. Why Ghana? Wouldn't it involve bringing a virus to Ghana before you start? Did you know the difference between a virus and a vaccine? Um, do we have the systems? Do we even know how to register trials? Have people been paid a bribe to undertake these, these trials? Are these scientists taking us for a ride? Where is our regulator? All these questions were asked. So the whole society was up in arms. It wasn't a case of uh, the laboratories or the ability to go about the test. It had to do with the issue of fear. The media broke it as, guess what we've discovered? Here is this news about some clandestine um, vaccine trial in the Volta region. Once the FDA began dealing with the protocols and the checks and balances, and having to speak to the center in Hohoi that was going to deal with it, it leaked, or it came out. It didn't leak, it came out. Once it was Ebola, it became an issue. I had a call from an unknown person from the US. Then they said, yeah, there's going to be an Ebola vaccine trial in the Volta region of Ghana. There's a midwifery school there, and then um, some students have been selected for the trial. No, we had not given approval yet. We had given conditional approval for preparation to start, and the preparation did not include the recruitment of subjects. And the main fear was one person gets it, or the, there is a failure then it is something that will spread. That is a feeling among the people. TGIN needs to be highlighted in this trial. They were the first to issue a statement. I'm a victim of vaccine injury. I wanted the government to listen. I saw from Star FM Online, a local radio station reporting that a midwifery school in the Volta region is about to go through this exercise. I realized that if we go a bit diplomatic, nobody will listen. Ebola is no more just a disease, but a business. When I did the write-up, a strong group in the Volta region came out with a press release that they can't uh, sit for the people to be used as guinea pigs. Actually, they, they just copy, paste some of the things that I wrote. The political outfit of the ruling government, that, that's the NDC. Yeah. In the voter and region. In the voter yeah. region. They issued a statement condemning it. When we heard about the incentives, we heard about the trials, like I said again, we also had a lot of information from our brothers and sisters who come from the region and stays elsewhere in the diaspora. So we made a press release. 
people were not educated enough. Leadership for us in the region were not consulted properly. If they were dying, we might have lost people who were going to vote for us anyway, in the first place. And that was our agenda. Within 10 minutes, it was out there. We went to the social media, we went to radio, we went to print media. There was spontaneous response from Ghanaians. A lot of people are confused. The youth are agitating and massing up for demonstration. Mr. Speaker, at this time of our country's development, we will not want to see social unrest due to negligence in educating the public. About the 9th or 10th of June, there was a discussion on our national parliament that there were going to be trials in Ghana. There was an initial allegation that uh, the trial had already started in the Volta region without information to anybody. First, that was debunked. There were issues of bribery. It is said that persons who volunteer for the exercise will be given 200 CDs and a mobile phone. Mr. Speaker, MPs from the region have been updated a phone call from panic stricken constituents who believe that this trial is aimed at spreading the, dread, the dreaded Ebola disease in the Volta region. Systems that have been put in place to enable such research to be conducted in this country are not good enough. The Academy of Arts and Sciences are on our side. They have also raised concerns. It is a met the minister on June 10 and raised nine issues of concern. The Academy is not interested in making unnecessary waves. We saw a situation quietly, we resolve it, send a documentation to where it's needed to change or improve policy. That was what we thought we were doing. GAS, their concerns were the seed. They had petitioned the minister, they had petitioned some other members of government. Concerns were not addressed about the safety issues and a surrogate markers of immune, immunity of efficacy to whatever vaccine that you are going to develop. The anger of the members of parliament, the anger with the people from the Volta region was as a result of the fact that they felt they had a basis. And the basis was that it was scientists who were challenging the FDA. The Ghana Academy of Arts and Sciences has the best scientists in our country. They are the people that have risen to the pinnacle of their profession. And if they are on the same side as Parliament, then Mr. Speaker, we are in good company. At the time Parliament had, it, had its discussion on the 9th of June, a provisional approval had been given for one of the trials to, to, to start in the Volta region. In, on the floor of Parliament, there was a fiat that no trial of any Ebola vaccine can take place in Ghana. We shouldn't suspend it. It should be stopped, not in Ghana here. It should be done somewhere else. If they want to do it in Ghana, they should do it in the laboratories with mice, rats, and chimpanzees, but not with human beings. We would urge the Minister for Health and all those responsible for admitting or permitting this trial to take place here to reconsider, not just to suspend it, but to say no, thank you. The Ministry has decided that the best thing to do is to suspend the trial. Tony Goodman admitted that the ministry failed to take the public through the necessary education, which would have eased their fears about the process. To bring calm immediately to the situation, there was the immediate sus suspension of any further activity on it. Unfortunately, there were strict timelines that we had to meet or that the uh, company that was dealing with it had to meet. And by the time all that had been done, through Parliament and through the checks and balances, uh, the timelines had expired. 